Hey everyone, I'm Bill, I'm with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome the 2021 Aprilia RS660 is finally up on the lift and it is getting ready for some minor modifications, just a few bolt-ons today, but I wanted to bring you guys along because, well, this thing is gonna have a lot of modifications done to it, so what better way to start with just some basic bolt-ons if that's what you guys are into. So today, we're going to be getting just a few things, like I said, we're going to add on some spider spools on the end here. We're going to put some spider bar ends on here. And we are going to be replacing the keyed gas cap with a spider no key gas cap. So just to get kind of a racing cap. Uh, all of these parts are available at HSBK. Uh, I'll link them all down below. They have all of the spider stuff available. Um, and that's what route we're gonna go with this Aprilia, is we're gonna do, basically everything's gonna be spider on it. Uh, Eddie is gonna be working on the paint, but let's show you the few things that we've got and the modifications that we've had to make already. So the spider spool ends are basic, bolt on. I've got my uh, Loctite here. The bar ends are a little bit different. I have had to play with these and I'll explain that here in a second. And then we just basically have the spider uh, gas cap here, which is pretty simple and easy besides the silver bolts. Oh, I hate when they do silver. So let's get the chesty cam on and let's start working with the new RS660 and um, welcome to the first modifications. All right, so our first basic mod that we're gonna do is rear spools. Now, rear spools are important if you guys are gonna be using a rear stand. So the spools are pretty self-explanatory. They go on fairly easy. I do want to note that we should be putting Loctite on all of these modifications that we're doing today to make sure they don't come off. So a little bit of Loctite on both of these. And uh, well, this just screws in here, so that's pretty easy. It's nothing major. And we'll grab this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these snugged up. Now, you'll see here that they've got the spider, so we're gonna hold the spool and get that thing <clears throat> tight there. And then we're gonna head over to the other side and basically just screw the other side in just as the other. and then get that tightened up. And now we have spools that now we can take a rear stand and actually fit a rear stand under there. So let's grab this one here, our trusty pit bull, and voila. So now we can lift the bike up, do any chain maintenance, any tire changes, that's coming. We're gonna be getting new tires for the bike. Um, the chain slack is actually uh, needs some adjusting too. So we're gonna be getting in some maintenance videos real quick uh, as well. But there's our first mod, spider rear stand spools. So let's go ahead and get the lift down. And now we're gonna start working on the bar ends here. Now the bar ends, obviously same, uh, same four millimeter. And we're gonna pull these things off. Ugh. Now, I've had these off because I wanted to test fit the spools because spools are kind of a little bit different. And sure enough, without fail, the spools that we're gonna be putting on are first much smaller than this. And the other thing is, is that the bolts that came with it don't fit and the coupler kit that comes with it don't fit. So I had to go down to the hardware store and get a new bolt. This is an M6 by, I think it's a 40 bolt. This is gonna go through the new spool here. You can see that. And there's actually little spacers that we're gonna put in here. So a little spacer goes in here. There we go. So we're gonna get the spacer in there and some Loctite and we'll get the 
spool on, but let's go ahead and take the other side off real quick. All right. So we're gonna be losing a lot. Well, these are weighted, and I'm hoping I'm hoping the vibration isn't too bad in the handlebars. Usually big weighted bar ends usually mean that they needed to be there because of the vibration. So a uh, little bit of Loctite here, a lot of Loctite. All right, and let's go ahead and get this one threaded in. And we've got a spacer on there because we don't want to interfere with the throttle. So go ahead and get this hand tightened in. And you'll see that there's a spacer in there to keep the throttle from locking too tight. Very nice, we'll come back and get that thing settled in. Another spacer here, goes on the back here, perfect. And our bolt through there. And to the other bar end we go. And this one's, although it needs the spacer, you can see the spacer is needed because when it gets in there, you'll see there's not much room. But wow, what a difference the bar ends make. <sighs> so nice so clean so go ahead and get these nice and tightened up so my general torque rule is tight and then a quarter turn should be good and this side get it tight and a quarter turn and we're good now we can start working on the gas cap gas cap looks Pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can get down here. So, voila. So let's go ahead and start popping these off because obviously this is the first thing we're gonna need to break off. And then we'll get into the cap and figure out what we gotta do. Open this just in case we need it open and we are going to remove all of the six bolts. One. Two. Three. Up. Oh, so careful here. So we've got short and short. Okay. And this was a long guy. So we're going to keep that in there for a long one. So we know that's a long one. And you're going to you're going to understand why that's important here in a second. So that's a long one. I believe this will be a short one. Short one. And last but not least, this will be a long one. So we've got one, two, three long ones. Yep. All right. So once we remove this here, you're going to see that there's some spacers underneath here. Let's make sure these are all so loose, loose. And there is one inside here. So this final lockdown one, careful, don't drop it in the tank, please. So it's another short one. And now we should be free. 
come on up. And so the long ones, why the long ones are important is because how they lock down and how they mount. Actually, the long ones are the only ones that actually go into the tank, okay? So in the tank, you'll see one, two, three. And then you'll see that there's this and the vent, okay? See the vent there. All right, so let's go ahead and take this over to the new spider and see what the spider package has for us. All right, so we've got a little vent here. And our little bolt kit is gonna have... All right, we've got one, two, three legs. And then we've got our little long ones. Okay, so we're gonna use this reference. And then what we have is we have some little fake, some basically fake bolts. So you'll see what we're gonna do is this is upright and this is upright. We'll go ahead and remove this cap. And we're gonna take our small bolts, which are basically just essentially dummy bolts. And those are gonna go in with a washer behind and a nut, okay, so that's that one. That one stays open, this one. Usher and nut. And that one, and then this one. So let's go ahead and get these tightened up. All right, so once you have those threaded, we're able to throw our long bolts in the three. So we're gonna go one. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Let's get in the light. Slide this on. And then in this kit, there are little teeny rubber bands. Little teeny rubber bands. And how clever they are to put these in. The little rubber bands aren't gonna obviously interfere with anything but they're gonna keep those spacers from falling out when you put the cap in. The engineering on this, these people thought of everything. So, uh, bolt in, spacer in, little rubber band. Okay. And the last but not least, bolt in. God, I wish they would, I wish they had black bolts, dog it. Sorry, <laughs> I know these are stainless, so. All right, and then rubber band on. And there we go, all right. Now, uh, let's head over to the gas tank because in the gas tank, you're gonna see that there's a little vent hole down here and it's the copper colored vent hole. So you're gonna see, but is it the coppered one? Yeah, I think it's a copper colored vent hole. And then you're gonna string this thing through and this is gonna be your vent. So let's confirm that we're talking about this correct vent hole. Let's take this off and this off. I think, I think we're right. I think we're right to say that it's the copper one. Yes, sir. All right. So that goes down. So, um, all right, so put our tray back in here and line off all of our things. And uh, so 
we're gonna go ahead and it kind of kind of goes in a little bit like this and you're gonna just push 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 okay. so that should give us enough room now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this is lined up And now we're lining up all of our bolt holes. Oh, I hear the Super Beast is home, which means Bogna's home. All right, so there we go. There we go. First mod, guys, our first mod. All right. So let's go ahead and get these tightened down. Kind of go in a bolt pattern. All right. And gradually get them all tightened down. Don't strip these bolts, please. Please don't strip the bolts. There we go. There we go. And there we go. All right. So we can collect our tools. And uh, I keep, you know, I keep everything. I, I, all of the spare parts, everything that comes off of all of our bikes always get put away and stored for a rainy day. But now we've got our nice little gas cap, which just snaps in. And there we go. Our new HSBK Racing Spider gas cap. Bar ends and spools are all installed. All right, well, there you go. Our very first modifications on the new RS660. Nothing major, just a few bolt-ons, but that's where it all starts. Trust me, you guys, you'll start with these and then you'll end up like our Street Fighter. It all started with a few bolt-ons on the Street Fighter and then we ended up with just the crazy madness. So nothing too major. I will say um, on the bar ends, I ended up putting washers in there because they were a little bit crooked. So if you guys do get them, there's a little washer to make them sit a little bit nicer, but fuel cap, nice. And the spools, very nice. So the first three modifications in the books for the RS660. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring that bell notification. We have a garage full of bikes. I always have been, I've been saying it a lot because I want you to understand, we have so much stuff. We have a new electric bike. We have an RS50. We have an HP2 Sport. We have a, uh, Tiger's gonna be gone. V4 Multistrada is coming. We have the V2. Outside we have a V4 uh, Street Fighter. We have an MT-03. We have, at the shop is our uh, R3 and our Ninja 300. Oh, and we have a Tawano factory, uh, which me and Bogdan just talked and we might we might get the 660 Tawano. I've I've been loving this bike. I've been on it two times. One time today. Ooh boy, I'm I'm really loving it. So thank you guys for sticking around. Sorry, um, but subscribe, like, smash the bring the bell notification because the bell notification is going to tell you when the oil change video is coming out. I'm getting ready to do an oil change on it already. We're clocked 200 miles. I just want to get the break-in oil out get some good oil back in it. We're gonna run it to 600 miles, then we change it again. And then we'll run it every 1500 miles. Motul V300, uh, oil filter's already here, so we're gonna go ahead and knock out a quick oil change and tighten up the chain, it's a little bit loose, so stick around. But uh, thank you guys for kicking with me on the first modifications on the 
RS660. But uh, we'll see you next video. Bye, guys.